Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. When President Donald Trump announced that he was directing the State Department to move the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to its historical capital of Jerusalem, critics came out in droves. One of Trump's chief detractors, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, Democrat California, claimed that the president's decision was both reckless and rash, but she may want to walk that statement back in light of what she said on the subject 22 years ago. Pelosi voted in favor of the Jerusalem Embassy Act of 1995, which said, Jerusalem should be recognized as the capital of the State of Israel, and the United States Embassy in Israel should be established in Jerusalem no later than May 31, 1999. But, in a huge show of hypocrisy, Pelosi seemed to change her opinion on Wednesday, now that Trump supports the acknowledgement of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, she doesn't anymore. Jerusalem is the eternal capital of the Jewish homeland, she said in a statement on Wednesday, but in the absence of a negotiated settlement between Israel and the Palestinians, moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem now may needlessly spark mass protests, fuel tensions, and make it more difficult to reach a durable peace. Hypocrisy Alert Pelosi's statement rings the bell of hypocrisy for anyone with knowledge of the region's conflicts. Nothing has changed in the region since the 1995 bill was signed into law, the Israelis are still open to peace, while the Palestinians refuse to recognize Israel as a legitimate state. Despite the similarities, Pelosi seems to have flip-flopped on the issue. But Trump should be used to Pelosi's hypocrisy at this point. She also went back and forth on the issue of sexual harassment by members of Congress, first defending then condemning sexual abuser Rep. John Conyers, Democrat Michigan, who has since announced his resignation in light of allegations against him. Pelosi said of Conyers on November 26. Just because someone is accused, and was it one accusation? Is it two? I think there has to be, John Conyers is an icon in our country. He has done a great deal to protect women, Violence Against Women Act, which the left Right Wing, is now quoting me as praising him for his work on that, and he did great work on that. But the fact is, as John reviews his case, which he knows, which I don't, I believe he will do the right thing. It wasn't until several days later that Pelosi finally accepted that Conyers' reign was over, saying on November 30th that the allegations are serious, disappointing and very credible and that the brave women who came forward are owed justice. justice.